Okay, we're gonna try the uh, chip control. Now, this is a 1930s Atlas lathe. I'm actually not sure what the motor is. I would... So let's see if I can clean this off and see what it actually is. It's a one-third horsepower motor. I never realized it was so small. So a one-third horse motor on my old Atlas lathe. And, uh, okay, so my RPMs, it's not that fast. I'll measure that. We're, we're basically touched off. I've already done this once. These are direct read dials. So I'm going to go in 10, 20, let's do 25 thousandths. No uh, lube, let's get a little bit on there, cutting oil. I'm not using coolant. So that's 25. Let's back that out, add another 25. Ten, twenty, five, and then we'll go to that, uh, go through that other twenty-five that we did, and see if we get there. Another twenty-five, and we're coming up to the other twenty-five. Let's see if this stalls it right out. Hip. There we go. We're doing fifty, and we can't quite make it. It's really bogging down. I don't think I'm getting much uh, more than that. The chips are coming off good. So, let's try a bit more. So that was uh, 50 total. Let's go 55, 60. So this is an easy one. Now I ground this tool myself. I, this first tool I've ever ground in my life, um, I am by no means uh, a tool maker. I usually use uh, carbide inserts. Here we go, coming up on it. And we are just, just, just making it 60 thou. And that's, uh, you saw it almost stall right out. And that's stalling. Uh, basically the uh, the belts are slipping so that's a one-third horse motor 60 thou uh, direct read thanks for watching